which recent developments regarding the exploration of the Moon, Mars and beyond have excited you most? There are a lot of uh, new developments uh, of technologies, for instance uh, 3D printing, we have quantum entanglement, we have nanotubes, uh, so there are a lot of developments on the technical point, from a technical point of view, and therefore we are now using this also to make exploration, and of course uh, Moon, Mars, but also the lowest orbit is for us, uh, are for us very important destinations. Um, you and the European Space Agency are strongly advocating for a moon village. Um, how do you see the moon village developing in the next couple of years? Right now we have the International Space Station and this is very nice to work together with Americans, with Russians, with Canadians, Japanese and Europeans. But I think the next big step should be to work globally together. But this is difficult if you do it just as one small location like an International Space Station because then you have to follow all the rules and regulations. And therefore our idea was let's go to the moon again. Uh, with different countries, with different actors, meaning also industry as well as public entities. And the Moon Village is the branding of this and it is starting already. We have more than 60 entities signing up to go together to the Moon. Okay. Um, what trends and technologies do you think we're going to see more of in the next few years? I don't know what will, be, what will be happen in the future. What we can do is just to prepare the future. And therefore at ESA we have now developed a special discovery program where we are looking for breakthrough technologies for the future. And these are based on things we don't know today. So what about if we understand what dark matter is? Can we use it on Earth? We have no idea. Dark energy? No idea. Uh, but we know, for instance, self-healing processes, which are now developed in synthetic material, maybe we can use them also in the future for satellites. Um, how important is a global cooperation for the space industry? Global cooperation is, of course, very important for the space industry, but even more important for the society on Earth. With space, we can bridge earthly crisis. We can work together, as we are showing it on the International Space Station and also in other space activities. So I think global cooperation is more than just something for industry. It is something for the society on our uh, tiny globe. Um, so what other areas does the European Space Agency focus on in the coming years? I'm the Director General of ESA, so I should never focus on one or the other project only, but ESA is a comprehensive space agency covering all the different fields of Earth observation, navigation, telecommunication. We are doing space science and exploration as well as developing new launchers. And in all these fields we have really nice uh, missions ahead of us. We will go to, Be to Mercury Bepi with Bepi Colombo. We are developing a new launcher family, Ariane 6 and Vega C. So we are developing new uh, quantum entanglement based uh, communication satellites. So in all fields we have really fascinating things in front of us. Okay. Um, in terms of inspiring the next generation of careers in space, how does um, the European Space Agency compete with the big corporates, the big game players? If we look to space, we know that uh, people are inspired, fascinated by space. And this is very good because in our society we have enough problems. Uh, I mean, we have migration, we have uh, climate change, we have terrorism. So it's very important to give the young people also the feeling you can dream and dream can be realized. So I see space not only as something for space, but especially for the general society. So therefore, to be fascinated is very good. To be inspired as step number two is even better. And step number three is the one I'm looking to, and this is motivation. Motivation for life, motivation for new ideas. And ESA is trying to do this with a very broad uh, variety of activities in Europe.